Education 2022. Uh, my name is Charles Otudo. I'm so sorry I'm not physically present with you over there because of a conflicting event happening in Abuja uh, today. I wish all of you over there a pleasant time. Congratulations for putting this together at the Woman King Foundation. By this point, I want us to have one minute silence in memory of my friend, the late Woman King. May his soul continue to rest in peace. So good morning once again. I'm meant to speak about um, on the position your brand in a radically changing world. But I want to take it a bit different from a different point of view this time. Not about only branding, branding, branding. Let's go spiritual and understand what God's plans for us in the Bible. What are his plans in terms of greatness for all of us. If you look at Genesis 12 uh, verse 2, it talks about one. And I will make of thee a great nation. I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thee shall be a blessing. That means that God already has a drop of greatness in all of us already. So as a brand, be reminded, you already have a drop of greatness in you. But the question is, are you utilizing that greatness in the, in the, in the, in the, inside of you? Have you been able to tap it beyond 25, 50%, 40%, 70%? You are meant to be great already. So how have you harnessed it? So this morning, I want to use seven points, all from the Bible, but I want to tie them to your personal brand and greatness. So the first chapter I want to look at is Genesis 22, 2a, and it talks about submission to authority. Now, this is God talking to Abraham. He says, take now thy son, when you get an instruction, you submit in the workplace, from your parents, from whoever is in authority. When you're given an, an instruction, do you submit to that instruction? You can never have a great brand if you keep, keep consistently struggle with submission. You can never be great as a brand or an individual or a corporate if all the time you fight constructed authority. It can't work. It can't. So let me ask you this question. Are you submitting to constituted authority? Or are you fighting it? This is a question only you can answer in your heart. Are you submitting to constitutional authority or are you struggling with it? My second point, sensitivity. Don't forget I talked about submission to authority. Yeah, if you can't submit, okay, are you sensitive to the instructions? How often have you had that nudge in your mind? Do this and you delay or something tells you, go ahead and move this in this direction. And because you refuse to take to heed that, you're not sensitive enough, you lose that major opportunity. And look at what God said to Abraham here. He says, and go. Listen, he didn't say, can you try and go? He said, and go and offer him dear for a bond offering upon one of the mountains which I will name to you. He didn't mention the mountain. He just told him, Take down thy son and go and offer him. Can you imagine? You're a father of only one child. You spent almost 20 years searching for a child. And finally, at, in your old age, you got this son. And God tells you, take him and go and offer him. How many of us will struggle? Let me see your hands up there. I can see you. You are dodging. I can see you from here. All of us will struggle. I will personally struggle to, to implement that instruction because my only son... I'll say, God, why not somebody else? Why me? We always do that. We always ask, why not them? Why me? So, but guess what? God did not give Abraham a special instruction. He just told him, and offer him therefore a burnt offering upon one of the mountains 
How often have you struggled with taking decisions that are tough, that also prepare you for greatness? No successful man, like I said, can ever go into greatness if they are not sensitive to the nuances and the words on the street, or based on R and D research and development, it tells you don't go this to this this sector or go this way, but you reject it because you are focused on your single lane of thought. But Abraham did what God told him to do. Let me go to my third point. Separation. I was talking about submission to authority. Talking about sensitivity. See what God told him here. At this point, is that you have to learn how to separate yourself. And go and offer him there for a burnt offering. He said, go and offer him there. He didn't say do it here. He separated. He had to move away from where he was to get to the destination. But remember what I said. God did not mention the mountain to him. He said, one of the mountains. Do you, are you, have, do you have clarity of thought to understand the instructions you get so that you can implement them to move your brand from mediocrity to greatness? It's critical for, for, for you for, in a radically changing world for you to be able to separate from where you are to the next level. My fourth point, I have only 15 minutes and I've got about five minutes already, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Please forgive me if I'm a bit fast. I have only 15, I'll try to wrap this up in a bit. Number four, my fourth point, set your own stage. Set your own stage. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac's son. Abraham took the burnt offering, the wood. God did not tell him what, what I should get a wood. And he said, and he took his, the fire in his hand and a knife. God did not give him all these implements. God only gave him an instruction. But he found his way based on his own innate knowledge of what should happen. You can use your bare hands to kill or sacrifice. You must cut the blood. You must cut the neck so that the blood can come out. So Abraham, based on his own instinct, got the wood, got the fire, and then got the knife. And then guess what? And also brought his son along. And then he says, Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they both went together. He did not leave Isaac behind. He didn't leave him behind and then went on his own and then said, come and join me later. He took everything he needed. How often have you gone on a journey without being prepared? You, went, you want to go to the farm, you leave your cutlass at home, you want to go hunt, you leave your, your, your gun, or you want to go for an exam, you don't go prepare, or you want to go for an interview, you don't have the right outfit to put on, there's no light, nobody cares. Or you go for an interview late, the boss, the, the boss came late, there was traffic, nobody cares, those are excuses. If I want to go for a meeting on the island, I leave my house by 6, because I know there'll be traffic, I go 2 hours ahead, I'm always in the meeting, 1 hour before the meeting starts, I'm always seated there. Because I don't want to give any room for excuses. So you need to also learn to set your own stage for your brand. For you to be successfully great, you must be able to set your own stage. Put all the implements you need for success in place and then go on that journey. My fifth point, sacrifice. You must learn to sacrifice. My other scripture again. And they came to the place which God had told him of. They came to the place which God, don't forget it, God mentioned to him one of the mountains. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He put an altar there and laid the wood in order. Are you organized? For your brand to be successful, to be great, you must be organized. You can't go in chaos. When you go in chaos, you come back in chaos. That is not the secret for success. You need to be organized. Put your house in order. Get your brand structured. And he bound his son, Isaac, and laid him on the altar on the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Imagine, Abraham was already ready to kill the son as a, as a sacrifice. He did not ask God, should I proceed? How often have you been asking questions? Over analysis becomes paralysis. Greatness comes to those that are ready for greatness. Are you ready for greatness in a very, in a very dynamic world? Things are changing fast. The young talks over there, everything you know today, by tomorrow, they will have that knowledge based on the Internet of Things. Do you realize that you're sitting on a, on a time bomb and you might become educationally irrelevant in the marketplace very soon if you do not take action fast? Step six, six point, switch. And the angel of Jehovah called to him from the heavens and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. And he told him to... Not to lay. Do not lay a hand on that boy. Or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you did not, you, you have not withheld him from me. Your only one. 
from me. So God said to the angel, pause. Abraham was ready to take that step to surprise Holy Son, but God told him to stop. How often have you been through tests that you don't know whether God is testing your faith for the next level? How come gold comes out raw, but when it goes through the furnace, it comes out purified? When you're going through your stage of contemptations, of all your tribulations, God is refining you for greatness. Have you noticed that each an aircraft is, is about to take off? It's always tumultuous going up when it's taking off. Just once the aircraft stabilizes, it goes into onto auto. When you're about to cascade into greatness, you are going to have tribulations. Get ready for greatness because it's already in you. So when it's about to, God will switch. God told him, stop. Finally, this is from Genesis 22, 13. All, all my, my, my quotes today are from Genesis 22, all the way to the end. Now, substitute. This is the last point. Substitute. Let me take all the points again. Submission to authority, sensitivity, separation, set your own stage, sacrifice, switch, and now substitute. At this point, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and, he, and behold, a ram behind him was entangled in a ticket by its horns. Can you imagine? Just when he's about to sacrifice the Holy Son, God provided a ram. God will provide that ram that will switch for you in Jesus' name. But are you ready to see through and see through God's lens? That's a dangerous prayer. I ask God, help me to see through your lens. But the things that you might see might shock you. Might shock you if your brand is not ready. In a dynamic world that's rapidly changing, your brand must move away from where it is normal, from being traditional. To transitional. Are you traditional or transitional? Now, every brand that wants to go to the next level must understand these seven principles. It's not about just branding, 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 but also about personal convictions about where you are and where you need to be. So, for everything in life, for everything you can't do for yourself, God has a substitute. For everything you've lost, there is a substitute. For every blessing that got away, here comes a substitute. For every time the devil says it was too late, there always comes a substitute. What God has for you, he will tie it up until you get there. So for all of you out there in, this, in, in the hall today, I pray that God will create the substitute for wherever you're coming from to the next level. But because for you to belong in that class of the, those that will grow beyond the, their, their present level, you need a substitute. I need a switch. I pray that Father in heaven will bless you and that through this platform and through other speakers, cumulatively, you are going to leave that place, that hall, ready with the fire in your heart and your mouth to speak words of positivism. That yes, Tinkation 2022 has transformed my life and your life. God bless you.